Hello everyone, I'm Tyler and today I'd like to show you how to be able to record your 3DS for either YouTube or Twitch an easier method than having to buy a capture device. We're essentially going to be making an in-home stand that's going to simplify a lot of the recording process for us since we don't have a capture device. So to quickly show you what I'm talking about, I have mine that I made myself. So it's just a big cereal box, but it's got a big hole cut out of the front so that I can place my DS and like control it. And I put some flaps with the cardboard that I cut from the front to hold it in. So it's not going to shake around. And I also have a hole in the back to be able to get the charging plug in there when your DS inevitably will die. So however you go about making this is up to you. This is just my version. I just wanted a flat surface on the bottom and a flat surface on the top. And I'll explain to you why. Now with your smartphone or camera or whatever you're going to use, I happen to be using an iPhone 7. So basically, with this setup now we have, we have the DS flat on the bottom of the box, and you have a camera, which will just go on the top. There's a hole on the top. I think I mentioned that. So now you have your system. It's already basically lined up, and you don't have to worry about like a tilted stand and having to get a tripod. It's just a lot more simple for me. So that's what I've been using. So now we have our box like this. And the idea of what we're going to do, we're going to go to the camera function on our smartphone. And essentially we have the screen pointed at our DS. So I'm going to explain to you how we're going to get this screen onto our computers. And that's where we're going to use Lonely Screen. Moving to our computer, we're going to go to the internet. And we're going to go simply to Lonely Screen. Very simply, you're just going to click on the link. Hit the get started today and download for free uh, for Windows. I don't think, yeah, there's a version for Mac, so don't worry. Uh, once you have that, you're going to open it up. I have it right here, already downloaded, and it's going to open a little box. And then I usually just staple this to the side and then you're good. Now on your phone, you're going to very simply swipe up. You're going to swipe up. And you're going to go to your screen mirroring and click on Lonely Screen. What that's going to do is bring it up on your computer. Did that work? Oh yeah, you saw it. Close that. And now you have it on your computer. So we can exit out, go to the camera function again. And there's your gameplay. I usually put it in video, it makes it a little bigger. And then you really simply just have to line it up so it's square with the borders. And you're basically good. You're also probably going to want to lock the camera so you don't have any unwanted focusing. And then you're probably going to want to turn down the brightness, which generally makes it look better. But you find your sweet spot of bright and dark, and that'll get rid of the nasty refresh lines. That's probably pretty good. And you can play with that to make it look even better. Okay, and now in your sources, you can open a window capture. And there it is. And there you have it. Now, obviously you're not going to want to stream this, so you're going to hold down Alt, and that'll let you adjust what you're actually looking at. And you can just fix it up to look all nice. You can just adjust the screen until you get it about where you want. Um, and you can play with it a little more to make it straighter even than this. And there you have it. That is essentially what you're going for. And it doesn't look half bad. It's probably the best you're going to get on a non-capture recording setup, a non-capture card setup. And that's it. Then you can just use your sweet little box. Okay, well, I ruined it. But, and just play the game like you normally would. And it's not going to look half bad. Obviously not going to be holding it, so it's going to be still. There you go. And there you have it. You have a pretty decent um, recording style. You can even just make it the whole screen if you'd like. You can stream it. Uh, I am using Streamlabs, by the way, in case you didn't already know that. And there you have it, a pretty comparable method to using a capture device. And you can you can modify this, use it to your, your own liking. If you have an Android phone, for example, you'll probably need a different type of AirPlay software. Or if you have a camera, you can use a cable into your computer. I'm sure there's a lot of different takes on this type of method, but this is what I've been using, and it works pretty wonderfully, and 
for now it's a lot better than not doing anything when you need a capture device to do so. So I hope this has been insightful for you. I hope you can go and make your own type of 3D stand and be able to stream and record your favorite 3DS games um, for cheap. You really shouldn't need to buy anything except a box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And if you liked what you watched, feel free to subscribe or even stop by my Twitch channel, Mr. Tyler underscore squared. And that's where I'll be streaming mostly Pokemon or whatever else. So thanks for watching. Peace.